In this video, I want to talk about uh, 40 foot bridge decks, particularly the uh, 8 versus 10 versus 12 foot wide 40 foot bridge deck. Now you can see um, this is a, uh, a 40 foot bridge deck, just the, um, you, know, you can see all the old steel. That's a 40 foot, it was 8 foot from here to, to there is 8 foot, right? So we made this one 12 feet by adding on two feet you know from there to there is two feet and from there to there is another two feet so we made this one 12 foot wide and you can see this one off the shelf the way we got it was eight foot wide and we made it 10 foot wide so originally from here to here is eight foot and we just added one foot on that side and one foot on this side okay so what's the difference uh some people might think that it's uh, it's all the same kind of work turning into, uh, turning uh, an eight footer into a ten foot or twelve foot, but you can kind of see that there's quite a bit of difference on how these are built. And this is a pretty typical build where we have these plates, and it's a fairly thick plate. You see, it's like half inch thick steel there. See that? That's pretty thick, but there aren't very many of them. There's only. Uh, I think there's what six on this one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's only six. So that's about every every eight foot. This is 40 foot long. So from you know from bearing point to to bearing point is 40 feet. Uh, and so every eight feet we have these plates, and you can see they're full height plates, meaning that they go the full height of the of that of the main beam there. But there aren't very many of them. So um, you can see this is a pretty good sized C channel here because we do have to span eight feet. So uh, when, once this thing gets reducked, we'll, we'll put a duck on top of it to span that, that one foot distance. So we'll have you know boards in this orientation. Uh, so when a vehicle's wheel load is right in this area here, the, the weight has to be distributed to this beam and then back over those plates. So it has to be a pretty substantial, um, we call it a secondary side sail. Uh, this C channel has to be pretty substantial because it has to transfer the weight from here out to those arms now obviously as that wheel travels and when that wheel is right over that plate the wheel is transferred the weight is transferred directly from the wheel to the wood to that to that plate that, that gusset plate um and then the, uh, the the side sail really doesn't do much but but once that wheel travels past that you know gets in this area over here well then the weight has to be transferred you know especially the weakest point is is right about here when the wheel is you know sitting inside this little pocket here that's where that side sail secondary side sail does a lot of work transferring the weight to those plates okay but there but as far as uh material there's not even though it's pretty thick steel it's really not a lot of steel and uh it's not a lot of labor it's uh it's a fairly fairly simple job to go from eight foot to ten foot right uh and it looks pretty clean uh, we can you can see from the side over here now this one just a stock one we have so we still need a sandblast and paint it but you can see it's uh there's um it's nice and clean and tight you know it looks looks pretty tidy uh, it turns out pretty great okay so that's a that's a 10 foot wide now let's jump back over here to the 12 foot wide now you can see this side sill the secondary side sill both you know this is about this bridge deck is about two foot tall 24 inches mi plus or minus half inch same thing with this one this one's about you know about 24 inches plus or minus half inch um but if you look at that side sill that secondary side sill this is the primary side sill this is the secondary side sill that's actually a lot smaller right that uh, looks like about a about an eight inch and this one over here that looks like about almost a, a, a 10 to 12 inch right see what that what that is it's a 12 inch so that's 12 inch over on that side and uh, this is just 8 inch on this side so why is that well you can see uh, that going back to that vehicle um, uh, wheel load that wheel load isn't spanning very far it's just spanning these are look it looks like they're about 14 inches on center on this uh, on this particular build meaning that from this beam to that beam the center lines is 14 inches or so it could be 16 but uh but it's still fairly tight you know whereas that one the the, the support arms are every eight feet this one where heck we're just over a little little over a foot here there so there's a whole bunch all the way down right now 
So the weight gets transferred to the, from the wheel load out to here, right? It gets, goes from here. Now the wood, this, this will have a wood deck going from here all the way to the other side. The, the, the wood will be screwed right down to this, to the secondary side sill here um, with, uh, with tack screws, metal screws. Um, well, I guess wood to metal screws. So the, the vehicle load weight goes from the, the, the vehicle to the wood and then it just goes right right over to these two beams here. So this secondary side sill, that doesn't really do a whole bunch. It, it does some work, but but not as much as all the all these uh, arms coming out. And you can see we also have to add these kickers. Looks like they're about every five feet or so. There's kickers. So let's count. You know, there's one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a kicker there, so you can see it has a lot of kickers, and that's um, that's quite a bit of work. That's quite a bit of welding. That's a lot more welding to do this than it is to do just a just a ten foot wide. So the the labor is a lot more intensive, and the um, material is that there's a heck of a lot more materials there. Now, not as like that side sill is going to be the secondary side sill is going to be a lot uh, a lot lighter, but you just compare the two this is a, this one has a tremendous amount of labor involved with it and uh you know the, the top of um the top of this secondary side sill is the same elevation as this primary side sill so a deck board would go right across here and land on here okay so that's uh and that's gonna be true for that one over there you can see that it's completely flat let's see if i can show that yeah you can see that see how it's it's perfectly flush Right. Let's see if we can get a better angle over here, maybe. There it is. It looks really tight. I like it. So that's where a board would be screwed to on the secondary side sill. Okay. So same thing with this side. It has a bunch of a uh, whole bunch of arms coming out. whole bunch of arms that's a lot of welding a lot of cutting a lot of a lot of fabrication takes a lot longer to build as compared to a 10 foot 10 foot ducks are, are really simple to uh, to build uh, there's not a lot not a whole bunch to it okay that's all there is to it give us a call if you have any questions oh so um so when clients call and they want to um you know eight foot's a little bit too narrow they're wanting to know if uh, if they should go with a 10 foot or 12 foot or 16 foot taking you know you can take two of these eight foot wide ducks put them side by side and so from here eight foot plus another eight foot to the next one that's 16 foot okay so uh um when it comes to costs cost wise obviously one eight foot deck is, is going to be the least expensive um now doing a 10 foot wide isn't all that expensive there's there's not a whole bunch of labor materials there but going from 8 to 12 or 10 to 12 you know 8 foot wide 10 foot wide 12 foot wide um that is actually the most expensive option taking two eight foot ducks and putting a second one here that's usually a much better value than going 12 foot sometimes uh clients need 12 foot you just don't have enough room for it for a 16 foot uh you need to go with a 12 foot but as far as just price alone the value uh two eight foot ducks costs usually cost less than a 12 foot okay so an eight foot wide deck is the least expensive the next price jump up is going to be a 10 foot 10 foot will usually cost less than two eight foot it's but it's almost it's pretty close to the same cost uh, there's not a big price difference between 16 foot and 10 foot <coughs> excuse me um and that's because with the eight foot, you know, that's used metal. It's, it's you know, it's 20 years old and uh, it, it just costs a lot less money than new, you know, new labor, new material costs, costs a lot of money, right? So um, two eight foot decks making the bridge 16 foot wide, that's gonna be about the same cost as this 10 footer cost, okay? So you have a choice for the same price. Do you wanna do 10 foot wide or 16 foot wide? There, there's not a big price difference. There is a price difference when it comes to that one that one is more expensive than any other option okay but uh 
some people and also um, freight uh, whenever you get this 10 foot wide uh, 8 foot really simple to ship 10 foot is is not very difficult to ship 12 foot we start running into pilots and escorts and, and it's, it's so your freight starts jumping up too so not only is that more expensive to build it's also more expensive to ship and we can uh, so on a 16 foot wide deck where we put two eight two eight foot deck side by side we can put that second that second deck on top of this one and ship it on one truck so your shipping is really really inexpensive um, and most of the country it's shipping is included for two of these 40 footers uh, so it's, it's a really it's an extremely good value so um, now some of the other things that that you may have to uh, wrestle with is uh, whenever you go 16 foot wide you do have to build a bigger abutment so there is an additional cost there with 16 foot wide you do have to buy more bearing kits you do have to buy more uh, bolts you do have to buy more wood to cover the whole thing so there is some some additional expenses going from um, going from 10 to, to 16 or 12 but I guess you know even a 12 foot deck you still have you still have deck costs an extra four feet going from 12 to 16 isn't gonna be that big of a deal but um, but yeah the, these are you know, we do sell quite a few of these 12 footers sometimes they just that's what is, is needed for the job and we'll, we'll be happy to build it but if there's any way to go with a 10 foot or 16 foot I think uh, I think clients would find that a better value for uh, for their money okay that's all there is to it bye bye